This is going to be a small unboxing video of this cutoff saw that I have recently purchased. Now during my last few projects I have tried to use the angle grinders as uh, my main cutting tool. Angle grinder will get the job done. It will cut the metal but if you're trying to cut the metal in angles let's say at an angle of 45 degree then it will always leave some gaps which are very difficult to weld especially if you're using thinner metals so keeping in view my last few experiences i have decided to go for a more professional tool which is built for cutting so let me show you the grinders that i was using this is a smaller size 5 inch it gets the job done. It cuts the metal, but it's not ideal for the job. And this is the bigger size. I mean, it is not easy to hold it for a longer period of time, you know? So let's open the machine up and see what we get in the box. So this machine, as you can see, this machine comes uh, fully assembled. All you get in the box is the machine and this manual. You get a wrench and extra set of carbon brushes. This thing is heavy, quite heavy. So there's nothing else in the box. Let's get rid of the box. So this is the first look of the machine out of the box. A really nice grip. Really nice button. The paint job is okay. It's not very nice, but it's okay. So here's the lock, let's try to open it. So now let's put it to the real test and see how well it cuts. So as far as uh, a straight cut is concerned, I am not going to try a straight cut because it is a cutting machine and I have no doubt that it is going to make a straight cut. So I'm going to go straight to uh, the 45 degrees angle and we'll see uh, how accurately it cuts the metal. almost a useless tool. So I'm going to bring a socket.
here is the quality of the cut this is quite a thick uh, gauge pipe let me check it with a vernier caliper and see what gauge of pipe it is
so guys the accuracy of the cuts not what i expected Uh, the magnet is holding the pipes exactly at 90 degrees but as you can see there are some gaps at the top so i was not expecting this but i guess it's okay so what i am trying to do here is to check the calibration of the machine uh, that is to check the angle of the blade and it seems to be near perfect i mean i don't see any deviation in the angle of the blade so I found out the reason for not getting accurate cuts at this time this plate is set at zero degree according to the default marker that came with the machine and even visually you can see that this plate is not straight what I did afterwards is I <coughs> measured the distance of the plate from this end to the end of the frame and same uh, for the other end and there was a huge difference it was way off so first of all I had to make sure that the frame is balanced so I measured the distance from that end to the to this end of the frame and <clears throat> same for the other end and it was the same it was like it was okay and then I tried to equalize the distance of the plate from this end to the frame and then from the other side and once I was sure that the distance is equal from both ends I made a new marker here you can see I made a new marker now let me set the angle to zero degree according to the new marker that I made and then I will show you the plate now you can see that the plate is straight and I will also show you the distance of the plate <coughs> from the end of the frame just to be sure it is one point five points less than ten inches and from this end it is 1.5 points less than 10 inches so now it is totally equal so guys one more cut after the calibration and let's see uh, whether or not we have achieved any improvement So as you can see that the magnet is holding the pipes at 90 degrees and there are much less gaps as compared to before. The cut is now much more accurate and I think that we have achieved improvement in accuracy after the calibration of the machine. So guys, my final thoughts about this machine, as far as the power factor is concerned, 
I have found this machine to be quite powerful. Uh, this is the pipe that I sacrificed today in the name of uh, science or in the name of testing this machine. This is uh, quite a heavy gauge pipe with a thickness of 3.2 mm. And normally we don't work around with metallic pipes with uh, that much thickness. Okay. So even in uh, this heavy gauge pipe, the machine made the cuts fairly easily. I did not uh, experience any power related issues. So guys, none of the videos that you see on my channel are sponsored. I buy all these machines with my own hard earned money. So as far as this machine is concerned, I was really hoping to get better accuracy in the cuts because uh, when I went into the market, I had a lot of options available, but I specifically went for a branded machine, you know, just to get better accuracy, which I did not, as you have seen in the video. But I'm also happy that uh, I was able to troubleshoot the problem and get better results in the end. But I think that uh, for an average guy, for, a, for an average person, it is not possible to spend all the time and go through all the pain in troubleshooting and solving all these small quality issues. So I think that INCO really needs to focus on its quality control. Uh, just putting your sticker on a product and selling it is not enough. If you are uh, marketing a product as a brand, then it is absolutely necessary for you to you know, take care of all these small quality issues. Other than that, this machine is okay. I think it will help me in all my upcoming projects. I would like to rate this machine 7 out of 10. I'm cutting 3 marks because I had to spend a lot of time in the calibration of the machine. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I would like to catch you in the next vlog. Until then, take care and have a nice day.